All right. Um, so some students requested that I uh, record a step-by-step -step, uh, guide to uh, solve the, this uh, exercise from tutorial one, problem nine. So the question here is to use the squeeze theorem to show that the given limit is zero. And there is a hint. So the hint is to use the triangle inequality and the two inequalities x square is less than or equal to x square plus y square and this the, the counterpart with y square itself now um i understand that uh, students who requested this probably read the official model answer and maybe they don't really understand what it says um so and which really means that the official answer is probably not good enough uh, which is why i didn't even read it so i, I don't know if my um, solution is going to be the same as the official answer, or maybe it's going to be different, but I hope that my solution is, is well, will uh, help you to, to understand this better, right? Uh, so let me explain step by step. So first, uh, how we can do this if we have the, this hint, right? So, and then I will also record a, I will explain the second method, how we can solve the, the same question without using hints, right? Now, um, so we know that we need to use the squeeze theorem and to use the, the squeeze theorem basically we take this expression and we need to estimate it from above and we need to estimate it from below and we know that the answer is zero so both estimates from below and from above should have the limit zero as x y approaches zero zero All right so th th this is just what what kind of the, the hint says so to use the squeeze theorem. The second thing is to use the triangle inequality. And the triangle inequality is basically, uh, maybe let me use some, some other um, 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 notations. Absolute value of A plus B is less than or equal than absolute value of A plus absolute value of B. So the triangle inequality is about uh, absolute values. So which is why it is a good idea to use the absolute value here, right? I mean, I mean it basically that, that's what the hint says, right? So to use triangle inequality essentially means we, we've got to uh, to do absolute values, right? And um, of course, you know, generally speaking, if you have a function f of x, y, and you, you want to, to, to prove that it approaches zero, then of course it is this, this, the same thing as to, to check that the absolute value approaches zero. Because the absolute value of zero is, is really still zero, right? So instead of showing that our um, expression has limit zero, we can show that its absolute value uh, has limit zero. And we know that we've got to take absolute value because the hint says triangle inequality. That's the logic here. All right, so I hope it makes sense so far. Uh, and then there are also two more inequalities uh, that kind of make sense, right? So because, well, x square is less than x square now y square is non-negative so when we add something to our expression it can only get bigger right so when we add y square the resulting expression is just just bigger than the original one right so of course x square is going to be less than or equal than x square plus y square All right so that that's kind of the, the idea here so let, let me explain how uh we can do this um using the the, 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 the hints provided now again so because of the squeeze theorem, we know that we've got to, um, to take the absolute value of our expression. So we've got to take x cubed minus 5x square y divided by x square plus y square. And we need to take the absolute value of this. Now, the absolute value of anything is, of course, bigger than or equal to zero. All right? And um, it should be less than or equal than, than what? Well, basically, we have this triangle inequality, right? So we, we, we will just split our expression into two parts, right? So absolute value of x cubed over x squared plus y squared uh, plus absolute value of minus 5 um, x squared y divided by x square plus y square right uh so then the absolute value of uh, a negative number is the, the same as the absolute value of a positive number so i can just uh, remove the, the, this negative sign here 
and I can take out five. Um, so I can write five here. All right. Okay. So the next thing is to somehow use the disinformation x square plus well this inequality. So I've got to look for x square. Well, I have x cube. So here I have x cube, and kind of the, the hint tells me to, to use x square. So maybe I I will. Uh, rewrite x cube as x squared times x. All right, so let me rewrite it like this. So th this is going to be the absolute value of x squared times x divided by x squared plus y squared plus 5 um, Well, here I already have x squared, so I will just rewrite x squared over y divided by x square plus y square okay so the next thing is to 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 realize is is probably um th this is not in the hints right so but th this is something that kind of just makes sense right so since x square is bigger than or equal to than zero it means that absolute value of x square is, is really the, the same thing as x square right because x square is, is non negative so basically the idea here is that it's maybe it's not really very um, easy to work with the absolute value. So it's always a good idea to get rid of it, right? So, and what th this tells us is that we can just, you know, take it out. So, and but by doing this, um, essentially what I, what I get, you know, if, if I remove the absolute value for all the positive, for, for all the non-negative parts of the, uh, the expression, what I get is, is just this, right? And same, same thing on, uh, for the second, uh, term. So what I get is just this. It's because simply, um, X square and Y square are non-negative. So their absolute value is the same as the expression itself. Right, so notice that here I have x squared divided by x squared plus y squared. Uh, but th th this looks very similar to, to, to this, right? So, you know, so l let me write it, uh, well, with probably different colors somewhere. Uh, so basically, x squared is less than or equal than x square plus y square. I can divide this equality inequality by x square plus y square, right? And x square plus y square is non-negative, so which means that if I divide an inequality by, by this uh, expression, the sign of the inequality doesn't doesn't change. So generally speaking, you can't really divide an inequality by a variable because you know you you, you, you when you divide by a positive number. The sign of the inequality remains the same, but when you divide by a negative number, the sign of the inequality reverses. So you, you've got to be careful. But here, x squared plus y squared is non-negative, so you can divide this inequality, and then you will get that x squared over x squared plus y squared is less than or equal than, than one. Right. So that is basically what what I will apply. Right, so in, instead of um, using the the hint as as is i i will uh just change it a little bit i mean essentially it's the, the same thing right so I, i'm going to just uh kind of um do it a, a little bit differently so instead of using the, the hint as is i'm going to, to rewrite it as x square divided by x square plus y square is less than or equal than one and i know this because you know x square divided by x square plus y square it just appears in <laughs> In the expression that I'm working with at the moment, right? So, by doing this, so basically, the, 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 this thing is less than or equal than one, and this thing is less than or equal than, than one. So, and by by replacing x square over x square plus y square with, with one, I will get the, the following um, um, estimate. So, I will get less than or equal than. Um, then let me write it here, uh, absolute value of x plus 5 times absolute value of y, right? Mm -hmm. 
but then th this is already an expression that you know doesn't have any division by x and, and y so and if x and y approach 0 0 you can just plug plug it in so you can substitute 0 for, for x and substitute 0 for y and you, you will get 0 so the limit of th this expression is 0 and the limit of this is also 0 so so we managed to squeeze the absolute value of the expression that we wanted to 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 to, to prove between two two expressions both of limit zero so which means that the the limit of up our expression is is also zero so th th this is how how it works okay